It's getting colder, and those Christmas lights are in full force. But the question remains, will the UK get one of those idyllic white Christmases that we usually see on Christmas cards? Or not so much. On this episode of the Oxford Sparks Big Questions podcast, we are asking, with climate change in play, what are the odds of a white Christmas? Hello, I'm Emily Elias, and this is the show where we seek out the brightest minds at the University of Oxford and we ask them the big questions. And for this one, we have found a researcher who is willing to conjure up some holiday spirit and predictions. I am Nevin Fuchker. I am a climate and data scientist at the Environmental Change Institute at the University of Oxford. And I work on a number of things. For example, I focus on uh, extreme events, on their dynamics, prediction, attribution, and socioeconomic impacts. Okay, well, nothing could be more extreme than whether or not we will have a white Christmas. <laughs> so, so, I mean, how far in advance do we know when we'll have a white Christmas in our forecast? Well, that depends on the precision that we are looking for. For example, if we really want to know whether it's going to snow on Christmas, then unfortunately we will have to wait for the weather forecast initialized two to five or seven days before the Christmas. Because in this sense, we are able to actually know what will be the temperature on the Christmas day and what will be the probability of precipitation. So this is typical weather forecast which we are interested, we can even look it up at the practical value up to 10 days in advance. Okay, so we can have a short range forecast that looks at the temperature and the precipitation. What about a long range forecast? How do we know what we can predict in a, in a different sort of model where we're looking from a bigger picture? Sure. So the in practical sense, that can be the same models. But the way that we are approaching to information is we are looking at, um, how to say, high resolution, high precision forecast on a daily time scale. When we are talking about uh, sub-seasonal to seasonal forecast, we are looking at uh, uh, predictions on a time scales of 2 to 12 weeks or, for example, 2 to months to 12 months. Then we are looking at the uh, long-term means. So for example, when we are talking about sub-seasonal forecast, we are talking about weekly average. Or if we are talking about seasonal forecast, then we are talking about monthly average or even seasonal average. So we are going from understanding in weather forecasts what's going to happen on hourly timescales day by day. Now we are going into the predicting mean values over a certain period of time that are still very practical, you know, understanding what would be the mean temperature during the week of uh, Christmas still provide us with very actionable information. So how far out can we know if it's going to be a white Christmas? Like, so Christmas 2023, how many months in the past would I be able to sort of say with some certainty that it would be a white Christmas? Two day. Weather forecast is typically between 80 to 90 percent accurate. So two days in advance, we would know very, with very high skill and very high precision whether we're going to have a white Christmas or not. But if you look at the two months, for example, out, that uncertainty is bigger, but it still provides you with better understanding because if your entire week or entire month of the Christmas you have substantially warmer temperature conditions, the probability that you're going to experience white Christmas is much, much smaller than average. So it is always um, the further away we go, we have less uh, certainty. We are dealing with probabilistic information, but that can be utilized and different users utilize it in different sense. Okay, so you're going to hate me. I'm going to go even further out. What if we look at like Christmas 2043, Christmas uh, like 2053, Christmas 2063? 
how will we know, do we know any sense of what climate change will happen and whether we'll be more likely or less likely to have a white Christmas? Well, in this case, when we're looking at the further and further type horizons, we're talking about five years, 10 years and further, then we are going uh, into the domain of climate projections. They depend on what kind of uh, greenhouse gas emissions, aerosol emissions society will produce. But in the spectrum of possible future scenarios, typically United Kingdom, we are seeing warming of the winter months. Uh, there is no region in United Kingdom that will see uh, potentially colder winter months, colder December, colder winter in 10 years or 20 years. We are all experiencing increase in temperature, therefore decrease in probability of experiencing white Christmas. That doesn't mean that white Christmas would be impossible, but it's less likely. So we extreme events that we would be dealing with would less likely be that it would be a snowy uh, event and more likely it would be what per se? So we would probably experience less uh, cold waves, cold snaps. Temperature will be warmer. We might even experience some heat waves in the winter, but that's all relative, relative to the long-term mean, you know. Uh, the heat wave in summer you physically experience in July or something like when we cross or approach 40 degrees Celsius, this is what we are considering to be a heat wave with respect to long-term means of the July. But in the winter, we can also experience a strange heat waves, but in absolute sense, they would be not that memorable. But we will most likely experience increasing temperatures and what we expect that we're going to experience more precipitation in the winter. So probability of a white Christmas in the future next 10, 20 or 30 years is decreasing. And in, uh, what is increasing is probability of warm Christmas with uh, just rain. Okay, so less uh, Dickensian, Victorian snow scenes on the Thames and people ice skating, more Santa at the beach wearing board shorts. Yes, perhaps Australian Christmas type of thing, but I hope not that hot. Uh, true, yes, those scenes about frozen Thames and fairs on ice, uh, I would say that that is extremely unlikely because when you put it in historical context, those scenes and uh, historical events took actually place during something that we called Little Ice Age. This is the period where Europe and some other parts of the world were actually experiencing colder conditions than normal, roughly between 1350 to 1850. So these are some of the coldest periods in the last few thousand years. That is very unlikely that we're going to experience that uh, in the future. Okay, so focus in. We are two weeks out from our Christmas 2023. Will it be a white Christmas? What is the science telling us? Well, um, a number of operational uh, institutions around the world, weather forecasting uh, uh, government services, as well as academic uh, groups, uh, they are producing uh, dynamical and statistical forecasts, and then you can combine them, analyze them, calibrate them to get the best possible multi-method, multi-model forecast. And at this stage, the most likely outcome is that we're going to have a week of the Christmas warmer than average. And the precipitation around the United Kingdom will be typically normal, except parts of the southeast and southwest should experience a little bit extra precipitation. But most likely, there will be no significant uh, snow. So it'll be Christmas jumper weather instead of Christmas jacket weather. Yes, you can put it that way. <laughs> However, I must put disclaimer, there is no guarantee we could have a surprise because on top of the forced uh, long-term force changes, we also have internal variability, but that will be less likely. The more likely outcome is a warm Christmas without snow. Well, I hope however you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a lovely one. Thank you, Emily. Same to you. This podcast was brought to you by Oxford Sparks from the University of Oxford. 
with music by John Lyons and a special thanks to Nevin Fuchkar. Tell us what you think about this podcast. We are on the internet at Oxford Sparks and you can find our website at oxfordsparks.ox.ac.uk. I'm Emily Elias. Bye for now and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.